After three months in Cape Town, we still weren't done with South Africa. To be honest, I don't know if I could ever be done with South Africa. So we decided to get up super early and take a bus from the big city of Cape Town to a quiet little town out on the garden loop called Plattenberg Bay. Our neighbor in Zanzibar had spent a good chunk of the COVID lockdown here and just raved about how beautiful it was. And that inspired us to come check it out for ourselves. We are the Culture Trotters. In late February, we left the States with nothing more than carry on to become a full-time world traveling family. Three weeks in, COVID-19 shut down the world and changed everything. We had quite the adventure writing things out in Mexico. After seven months, we are finally ready for the next chapter. Click that subscribe button and join us as we continue our journey around the world and head across the ocean to the continent of Africa. In the words of Helen Keller, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Downstairs in the lobby waiting for our Uber. Alejandra's sleepy already. Something. Yeah. Or 549. Yeah. It's almost seven. Bye, Cape Town. 721. We're on the bus. We're on the double decker bus and we're upstairs. We're going to get an awesome view. Here's Arabella. Hi. Hi. Are oh, you closing the curtain because you're going to sleep? Yeah. All right. Alejandro's already back asleep. Mom's going to look for. Zebra. Alejandra, are we getting close? Yes, it's only like a wonderful moment to we can, so I can actually shake my booty. Yes, is your butt sore from sitting? Yes. Yes. Bella, did we just finish our nine hour bus ride? Yes. Yes, now we gotta pick up our luggage and get an Uber to the Airbnb, right? Uh-huh. Where there's gonna be lasagna. We made it to our Airbnb and there were special Chocolate bars! Chocolate bars! Daddy! Oh my goodness. Oh, Daddy's gonna be so happy in there. <laughs> While staying in Plattenberg Bay, every Wednesday we made it our thing to head to the local farmer's market. The people in this town are seriously the best, and this is a place we met a lot of them, including the town's most famous dog, Socks, who has her own coffee business. All things considering, this dog is doing pretty well for herself. Arabella also enjoyed playing dress up with her. So we were walking around the farmer's market and we saw a lady doing henna. I got some done and she was very quick and it's very pretty. She also gave me a rock. She painted the heart in red. She gave me a special rock to remember you by. Mm -hmm. So you're traveling the world in a carry-on, what you really want are more rocks to bring with you. We can collect you a lot of rocks too. <laughs> she has pumpkin fritters, corn fritters, spinach fritters, goat cake, which is a type of bread, and she puts bacon and egg on it. Best breakfast. It's not really sweet, but it's still fried bread. And she has the world's best ginger beer for five rand uh, bottle, which for Americans is what, 35 cents? The farmer's market is located at the Old Nick Village with a handful of boutique shops and is home to the Mungo Fabric Mill. They even have it set up so that you can take a tour of the factory and learn how fabric is weaved. abundance of nature to explore. So we decided to take a day and go for a hike at beautiful Roberg National Reserve. What you doing, Dada? Checking out our route. How we want to go around the island? We can do this. It could take us hours or it could take us we'll 10 minutes. Hours. Yeah. There's a very short route, which we're not going to do. There's a long route, which we're not going to do. We're going to do a medium route. It's just right. <laughs> I call it the Goldilocks route. <laughs> Freak waves! Freak waves. What's that skull? Dun dun dun! 
All right, so COVID bad, get that. But it's also spoiled us. As we travel, we're the only ones traveling. So we usually get entire places on our own. The fact that there are other people walking this trail, it's like, ah, it's so crowded. Why are they here? <laughs> They're probably like super nice people. And we're like, Ugh. We've, been, we've been really spoiled that we get to go to all these places and we're often the only people swimming with whales that day. We're the only people walking that hike. It's also Saturday. This was a busting metropolis now. <laughs> Here's the thing with traveling with kids. They don't know how good they have it. They don't know that most people grow up looking at the same scenery every day. And quite often that scenery is the inside of a school building or an office. To them, there is always mountains or sea or desert or something completely new to look at all the time. We should have left them like in a housing project for three years and then brought them out here. And they like, ah! Oh. So they this like, yeah, I saw one of those last week and last month. And there's one like this in Mexico. Hey, and... okay, wait, wait. Hi! <laughs> Tell us about the gap, Robert. You can see one side of the island, two other side of the island. Are we on an island? Well, Peninsula? Whatever we are. This is, oh, this is good. You just came across this. You can have it, Arabella. Okay, what did you find? A porcupine quill. We found a porcupine quill. So cool. No hunter. Robert just spotted the seals. We can smell them, right, Arabella? There's tons of them. Look at the whole rock is covered. Okay, this is nothing when it comes to seals. If you really want to see some seals, check out our video where we went swimming with 5,000 seals in Cape Town. So, we managed to forget the water. So, we didn't know that in times so we couldn't buy water at the start and there's no water on the trail. So, we're and gonna- And now we're going back home. <laughs> so, we got two choices. We can keep walking this way, so we go up and around and walk back. Or we just take a quick swim across here, over there. Which I way? Think it's that way. Which way is maybe? The seals are down there, so they'd play with us. Oh, we could, we could just hold on to a seal and have it swim us across. Yeah. Oh. Do you speak seal? No. I do. Uh, I do. I do. Uh, Geronimo. Okay. Geronimo. Where do you learn that? Woo! <laughs> Her gloves. <laughs> Probably a good view here, but the signs say we'll die if we go out there, that the sand gives way when you go over the cliff. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, this is the area that gets submerged at high tide. Ah, uh, yeah. We have a few minutes to get over there and check things out before we take it back. I'm gonna run down the hill. <laughs> we Awesome! Whoa! We Whoa. Oh, I like it! <sighs> we just came down this. It's actually huge. I don't think this does justice. I'm recording. Oh, she's gonna fall on her face. I'm as zoomed in as I can be. Oh, she's going down. <laughs> <laughs>
Back to the gap. You needed a break? Alright, where am I back? My tummy just growled. Oh, you're hungry. Alana, did we make it back? Yes! We survived! Right. It, wasn't it was something like either Table Mountain, Lion's Head, or that weird boat that we went to in Mexico. Oh. Check the videos out in the link below. What is it? I would stay back in case it comes running out of here. It's coming, like, everybody back up. There's more than one, whatever it is. Maybe they're baboons. I don't like it. I'm moving on. Thanks for watching our silly little family adventures. To help us out, give this video a like and make sure to subscribe to help our channel grow.